Hello everyone, bring you a video today looking at a set of late war Indian made aluminium mess tins. Now these were produced out in India for use by both British and Indian troops and they turn up in photographs of, of British and Indian troops fighting out in the Far East during the, the latter years of the Second World War. Now the Indians took a slightly different line in terms of designing these mess tins than were seen in other Commonwealth mess tins of the time. And we're going to have a look at these in some detail in the video. So here they are, the Indian late war aluminium mess tins. Now these do differ quite considerably from other Commonwealth and British Empire mess tins in use at the time in that they are, as you can see, almost an oval form. They're made of aluminium, of course, and they do otherwise for, follow the sort of convention of the design of Commonwealth and Empire mess tins at the time in that they are a smaller and a larger mess tin that nest together. And the handle design is very similar, but obviously because they are essentially an oval form, straight sided here but with a rounded section on each end the handle has to be mounted on the side where there's a flat section which it can be riveted to as you can see here so if we just take a look at that you have the, the design of the, the bracket for the handles here relatively crude but it works riveted in place there with three rivets as you can see and the handle itself is steel you see the other head of the rivets inside there the other heads of the rivets in there and the same is true of the larger mess tin. It's basically exactly the same design as you can see there. And again, steel folding handle. Both of these are dated. They're dated 1945. Nice clear stamp on this one here. Kamani, the manufacturer, and then the date of 1945. The acceptance stamp above that, as you can see. And then the other one has a different manufacturer, so they aren't a matched pair, but I don't mind about that at all. It's very nice to have a set of these. The JL, the manufacturer there, 1945 again, the manufacturing date, and then the acceptance stamp above that. So I just nest these back together again and bring in a set of British Second War steel oblong mess tins just to compare in terms of size and so forth here. Now the oval mess tins do have an advantage, or one advantage that I can see, Although the corners on the oblong mess tins are rounded, it's a lot easier to get into the curved section here with a spoon. And obviously a lot of things you end up eating from mess tins can be eaten with a spoon. It's a lot easier to get into the curved sections around the ends of these mess tins with a spoon and dig everything out than it is to necessarily get into the corners here. One advantage. A disadvantage, of course, is they aren't as neat a fit in the 1937 pattern haversack. And of course, India was using the 1937 pattern at this time. It was producing it in large quantities. And the oblong mess tins have been designed alongside all the original aluminium British oblong mess tins, which are, these are derived from, the steel mess tins are derived from that design. They're designed to fit very neatly in the 1937 pattern haversack. They've been designed alongside it. And because of that, there's no wasted space or very little wasted space. You can pack these with rations if you're carrying extra rations. You can pack small kit in these and essentially then slide them down into the haversack. So it's very easy to avoid wasted space with this design. They fit neatly in one of the two front compartments of the 1937 pattern web equipment. Whereas with these oval mess tins or, or near oval mess tins, you do lose space at each corner. You've got less room to pack stuff inside them. So that's one disadvantage of the modification of the design here. But as I say, an interesting deviation from what essentially was the standard, which in different forms, with different materials and so forth, was basically this with the two oblong mess tins nesting together. This is an interesting deviation in terms of design, and I say it's what the Indians went with when producing these aluminium mess tins later in the war. Do have a set of steel Indian mess tins we'll have a look at at some point going forward. I need to clean them up, I need to get hold of some paraffin and clean them up. They're currently covered in grease, which is great because they'll be in good condition underneath, I'm hoping. Uh, but I do need to sort those out, and they're closer in design to the British steel mess tins. So we'll have a look at those going forward as well. But that's the Indian uh, late war aluminium mess tins. So there we are, I hope you found it interesting looking at these. As said in the video, something of a deviation from the standard British British Empire and Commonwealth mess tins in use at the time in terms of the overall design. I'm very happy to have a pair of these. They're quite hard to find, they're relatively unusual to find. So it's very nice to have a set of these in the collection and I do hope you found it interesting looking at these. If you have found this interesting and you'd like to see more from the channel, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And whether you're newly subscribing or you've previously subscribed, please do make sure you hit the little bell, the notification button down below. That will of course alert you when I upload future videos. If you really like my uploads and you would like to support the channel, you can. Both Patreon and PayPal are linked down below. And as ever, a massive thank you to everybody who supports the channel using those two methods. It's greatly appreciated as I always say. Thank you all very much indeed.
If you'd like to follow the channel on social media, you can. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter are all linked down below. And if you'd like to get in touch but you don't really use social media, there is of course an email address down there as well. That's everything for this video, so until next time, bye for now.